my music like I'm gone. Play my music like I'm gone, gone, gone. Play my music like I'm gone, gone, gone. Play my music like I'm gone, gone, gone. Yeah. Be on some other shit. It's kinda bittersweet that I fell in love with it. I always felt that if I always cared about how I dress, that folks would think I'm American and chicks are losing to rest. But as it turns out, people start to notice you more. You turn heads when you step in foot in the sneaker stores. Like where you get them, can I get them? What's the biggest size left? And chicks that never would have seen you. Now. What's up, everybody? It's Big Rob TV, and I'm back with another sneaker unboxing video. Alright? Now, if you follow this channel, you know it's no secret, no secret that my favorite Jordan 1 of all time is this one, Jordan 1 Royal, the Jordan 1 OG High Royal. Got a little bit of that glitter effect going on but still without a shadow of a doubt this is my favorite Jordan 1 of all time it's not even really close so this is the this is my favorite so nice in fact that I also have it in the fly knit colorway all right these are very comfortable you know what I mean like these are actually more comfortable to wear than these are but these are my favorite ones of all time these were kind of like a special edition version of these but the reason i got these is because i'm a fan of these all right that brings us to today go ahead and put the shank there that brings us to today with this Nike box, all right? Now, hmm, actually, let me just go ahead and cut into the tape. Let's get right into it, man. This is the shoe that I looked at it initially. I saw the pictures and everything, and I said, you really don't need this shoe. You ultimately have this shoe twice. You really don't need this shoe, Rob. But I was able to get it for under a hundred dollars, and I said, "Why not? Why not give it a shot?" So here we are. Regular Jordan box. Let's get this out. Boom, um, and we'll put this box over there. All right. Regular old school. Jordan box, the normal Jordan box, nothing special here. All right, these are the Air Jordan 1 Mid. Now, I know somebody out there just turned off right now. Oh, Mid, ah, turned off. Stay with me, stay with me. The Air Jordan 1 Mid, black, hyper royal, and white. Size 14, of course. And the uh, retail was 115 on these. However, I was actually able to get them at just under $100. So I will take that. But let's go ahead and get into it, man. Because of course... You all know how I do it right here on Big Roth TV. Okay. Ooh. Okay.
left shoe first, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not bad. Not bad. Let me let me go ahead and get the, the shoe tree up out of there. Not bad. Not bad. This is the Air Jordan 1 mid and the royal colorway. All right. Now let's get let's get one up here. Let's bring the left one up here. It is not exactly it is not exactly the same royal. It's not the same. This is a little bit brighter looking at it to me. This is that royal royal right here. This is a little bit darker to my eye. I don't know what it's, what it's showing on the camera. This is my, I'm filming this video on my iPhone. I wanted to test my iPhone camera out. So I'm filming this video on my iPhone so I can't see how it looks on the camera. But to my eye right now, this looks a little bit darker of a royal than this one. Like it's just, it's like it's just slightly off. Actually kind of looks like, let me grab the, the fly knit. Nope, this, this is darker than that too. It looks like it's a, it looks like it's a little bit darker than that one too. Yeah, slightly, slightly different in color. It's not all the way off. It's not like purple or anything, but it's just, it looks like it's just slightly off in the color. I don't like that. I wish they would have just sent it like like the the OGs, like the OG highs are, so that, you know, you can lace them up the way that you want to lace them. Because this isn't this isn't the business right here. All right. But let's look at the differences. As you can see, mostly exactly the same. But as you see here throughout the eyelets, you do have that extra royal hit on each side. Boom. Extra hit of that royal on the eyelets there. That is the main difference besides the slight color difference is that that hit of the eyelets with that extra blue. The leather quality on these, eh, it's all right. It's all right. Whereas the royal color here, not the greatest at all. The black is actually pretty good. The leather quality of that is the black all around the shoe is actually pretty good. But that blue, not so much, especially when you're comparing it to this. That's that good leather right there. That's the good. Look, look, I'm barely touching them up here. That's that good leather. All right. But not bad. You get in here. You have that nylon tongue. It's not the, it's not the nylon that's on here. It's not the same. This is that Nike Air on the tongue. And this is that Jordan Jumpman Air on the tongue. All right. On the inside of the OG high, you have, oh, here's my, my laces. Um, you have that Nike Air on the inside there. And on... The inside, let me unlace these. The inside, man, they got them yoked up. They got them yoked. Man, I don't even wear my Jordan Highs laced all the way like that. But on the inside of the mids, it's just a, a black insole with the Jordan Jumpman. All right. As far as the bottoms are concerned, on the OG highs, those are blue. You got that royal bottom as well. And then on the bottoms of these mids, it's black. All right? Black bottoms on these. So not bad, man. I went to the mall in Lawton, Oklahoma, 
and I was able to see the red and black version of these, like the the band colorway, the bread colorway of this same shoe. I have the OG high breads up there, and I said, I don't need to have the black and red ones. Had no interest in really buying it. I actually won it on sneakers and released it. I just wanted to see if I could get it. And then I released it back. But this one, I actually said, let me get it in hand and see what I think of it. You know what I mean? And I don't think it's bad. If anything, if anything, I could wear this one around more and kind of preserve my OGs. I've worn these. These have been worn. They haven't just been sitting around. I have worn the shoe. That's why they are laced up the way that I like them laced and everything. But if anything, I could wear these and preserve those. Kind of like how I wear these a little bit more than I wear the OGs, you know? But I wear these because they're comfortable. They're so comfortable. I can wear those all day. But yeah, not bad, man. So you guys know what we gotta do now. We gotta take these boys on feet. All right, here we are on feet. All right, I laced the left one up tied it up and then on the right just left it unlaced as far as comfort is concerned not bad they're not bad they're not the they're not the fly knits but they are kind of on track with the regular OG highs as far as comfort is concerned all right I, for a size comparison this is my big toe right here I do not think that I could go down in to a 13 in these. I really don't think so. I think the 14 was the right decision, which is weird because lately I've been feeling like I should have a 13 in Jordan 1s. But for some reason with these, they feel like they fit better in the 14. So keep that in mind when you're going out and getting them. Just give you some of that coming at ya coming at ya I really hope that coming at ya looks good because I cannot see it let's go ahead and give you a little bit of that booty view let's go ahead and get a little bit of that booty view for you all yes sir but anyway that's gonna do it for these Yo, not bad, man. Not a bad shoe. You know what I mean? I know it's hard sometimes to find these. I know it's hard to find these unless you're going to go pay that resale price. But if you just want a, a clean pair, you don't feel like going to get that pr that pair, you don't want to go pay that retail price, go ahead and get these, man. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't have a problem with mids. I have a few different pairs of mids. I have some special edition mids. I, I I like them. I like the silhouette of Jordan 1s. But I definitely could see myself wearing these to switch it up from time to time. I could probably... These were under $100, man. I mean, they cost $115. But I got them for under $100. So I could definitely see myself beating these up. Wearing them around. You know, go to the gym in them. Just destroy these if necessary. Under $100. Beat them up. You know what I mean? Whereas these, I'm going to be a little bit more gentle with. Be a little bit more gentle. Try to keep these because these are my favorite Jordan 1s ever. So that would be the difference for me. But anyway, that's going to do it. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I truly, truly appreciate it. More content is on the way, and I'll holler at you all in the next video. Peace.